So October has arrived. All the hubbub now is about Halloween season and not scary farm. But let's not forget people, Knott's is also pretty fun in the daytime too. We are here at the farm to prove that to y'all one more time. Today there are a lot of schools out and stuff uh, because there's a lot of people that are celebrating Rosh Hashanah. So I expect it to be a little bit busier in the park. The front is proving that so far to be true as uh, it's been quite crowded since I got here at about 10 o'clock. And uh, it's about 10.15 now. That's not gonna stop us from going to the park and enjoying our day. Let's go. Yeah, that's the spirit. At night, this corner of the park is known as the gauntlet. During the day though, it's just good old Camp Snoopy. So let's start there this morning. It's funny to see all these picnic tables just kind of shoved up here close to the stage because they had to make room for the queuing section for chilling chambers. Um, but the uh, the little stage area, the photo op, it's awesome. They let people just kind of run wild up there and do their own thing um, to make for more natural pictures and whatnot. But uh, I like it. It's heavily decorated and uh, makes me feel Halloween-y. What? What? What the hell is even that? I actually kind of expected half that crowd at the front gate to be back here in Camp Snoopy, but uh, I guess not. Camp Snoopy kind of empty right now. I and mean, we'll look at the back section of the park, but uh, it looks like most of those people must have gone to Ghost Rider. Either way, still one of the prettiest parts of the whole park and my favorite to be in because of the shade and uh, the ambiance, the autumn ambiance. Kind of reminds me, I still have yet to check out the slider show for the gauntlet uh, during Scary Farm. But I think at 10.30, right here, you'll see the uh, sides of the road start to line up. Apparently, it's uh, pretty darn good over here. I'll be the judge of that. He's not Judge Judy and Executioner! He is! Can I just say, when this river wasn't flowing, this land was so sad to be in. But now that it's like awakened and all the rides are operable and everything is running at full speed, I feel so good to be back here in this long forgotten corner of Camp Snoopy. But uh, right as we leave Camp Snoopy, we're noticing something developing right on the spike of Montezuma. With that in mind, let's talk about it. So since we started talking about it last week, it looks like they've gone ahead and started working on Montezuma again. I can hear guys in there underneath the tarps working and they also started uh, work on the scaffolding on the north spike this time. And it looks like pretty soon, it's gonna be just like that one. We're gonna have two big tall white towers. Be cool to have like some sort of like Empire State Building facade or something over them. But look, we'll get what we can get. At least we're getting Montezuma worked on now. And January 2025 can't come soon enough. That's my estimated return date. They still have a lot of work to do in the next couple months. So we'll see just how intense they start to ramp up operations here. But it looks like when they start to actually work on this ride, they really get a lot done fast. So really it's just a matter of can they get the track back in time to start putting it back up on these spikes and get everything laid down. Uh, and then they can start working on the entrance here that they have yet to start. Uh, either way, uh, progress has returned to Montezuma. The Forbidden Fortress. And I hear the party music, which can only mean one thing. It's time to party. It's party time! Fiesta Village is funny to me. It really is a land of like polar opposites. During the day, uh, in the middle of the week, this really is just a ghost town. But at night, it livens up and the lights start to flash and the music starts to get loud and people start to dance and drink and party and have a good time. And it's a completely different atmosphere here at night. If you've never been, I suggest this is where you come after the sun sets. I also do believe that I neglected to mention that this is another lantern interaction spot. So this land has two of these with uh, the Jaguar Pyramid and this here will interact with your lantern as well. So remember that when you come at night. It's scary fun. Oh man, this whole area over here by Silver Bullet is forsaken by day, forsaken lake by night. Man, you corny! It's funny, I don't think Silver Bullet knows how to just go uh, at 50% speed. It's back in action running both trains again, and it's doing it like a champion. But enough about this side of the park. We need to head more central and see if there's any spooktivities going on at this hour of the morn. Why are you the way that you are? Yeah, being that it is Thursday, that means it is Spooky Farm Day. So you see a lot of people dressed up in costumes, kids going around through the trick-or-treat trail, through Calico, and the spooktivities going on here at the Calico Square stage throughout the day. So if you happen to be around during the day on Thursday through Sunday, come partake in the festivities. Also, I mean, the barn's open, and it's full of some creepy, crawly, icky, bicky, sticky, creaky bugs and reptiles. You want to see what kind? 
Let me show you. You got the same lizards and insects that they had out last time, like a gecko and a, uh, and a little iguana. Um, but it's weird because they have these little areas roped off and they don't allow people back there, but that's where it seems like most of the stuff is. I don't know if they open that up at night or what. Um, they also got the, the cockroaches and uh, the scorpions. You know, your basic kooky, nasty buggies and, and insects and... Well, we were gonna cross the tracks and jump on the uh, Calico Candy Mine Ride, but the line's sticking out there at the end. It says five minutes. Nah, that's probably 30 minutes to 40 minutes right there. Maybe next time, little goose. Now the log ride. Now that's something we can sink our teeth into on a warm day such as this. Maybe get our splash on, huh, baby? Think we can sneak you on somehow? I doubt it. Again, maybe next time. Just saying though, today's a perfect day to be riding this ride. Maybe it's time to head back to the back of the park and see what the boardwalk looks like on a warm day with no shade, such as this. Stop whining. Pigpen the skeleton getting his grooviness on with the babies. Good with the kiddos, no doubt about it. Does not seem that like the crowd has gotten back to this part of the park yet. Still only 11.40, so there's plenty of time for them to reach the uh, epicenter of amusement back here on the boardwalk. Uh, so the wait times are a little bit smaller here. It's like 15 minutes for board, for hang time and uh, maybe 10 minutes or so for Coast Rider. And then like accelerators at like maybe 10 minutes, unless you want to sit in the front, then it's like 30. But it's a normal morning at the park here, which is kind of interesting because the front of the park, everybody's kind of hanging out at uh, uh, in Calico, which is cool, I guess. I mean, people who are here for a spooky farm, so they're getting their trick or treat on. I, I can't say that I don't blame them. They only have like a month and a half to be able to do that in the entire year. So why not do that on your day off? Well, here's something crazy. Well, besides Crazy Kirk and the hillbillies, they're running the goose today. That's crazier than Crazy Kirk. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have a one thing that's not working today is the old Berry Tales ride. Uh, so here's a question. How long until we just call it quits on this and just stop trying to fix it? and just uh, shut her down and put in something new that's gonna be reliable. But while we're back here, I think it's uh, drink time. That always hits. That's good, baby. Also, since we're back here, we'll head into the factory store and take a look at the uh, what's still here at the Into the Fog art show. If you don't, if you haven't been back here, it's underneath Berry Tales right next to the arcade. And it's a lot of it is just art that is submitted to the event and sold here. And most of the time the originals get sold pretty quick but a lot of these have uh, uh, copies digital copies that they'll um, sell over in the far corner next to the checkout i'm just here to see what's left so far all right and of course i couldn't get out of there without getting something so uh i took the opportunity to uh, get the new pasher artwork which is uh, an ode to mesmer uh, a classic i love pasher's style so much that uh, i've become like a little bit of a fanatic of his stuff if you haven't checked him out he's on instagram and everything pasher house he's an amazing artist on another note if anybody knows richard wallace he did a a, a a painting this year of a dark ride which is basically like a map layout of the old dark ride maze and it says that he's not going to have any more digital copies put out but um listen i gotta have it so if anybody's seen richard wallace walking around let him know that uh josh is looking for him i will look for you i will find you and i will get it's like spooky farms brought out the best in people. They're all back here partying it up in the 1920s. It's like word caught on that this is actually a fun place to be. And while we're back here, let's go ahead and take advantage of it being lunchtime right now and see if we can't get that goring mobster pizza everybody's been talking about. Angie's probably gonna be pretty mad at me for doing this without her. I also got a salad because I'm healthy. Let's try this pizza. It's weird because Everything for Scary Farm this year is so like, I don't want to say generic, but it's so safe that nothing is like a test to, to like it or not. Everything is good so far. This pizza? It's good. Good pizza. Okay, time to cross the tracks one more time. And like I was saying earlier, it is warm today, so I can't blame people for getting on the River Rapids ride because this is a cool, refreshing escape from the sweltering heat of early October, which in LA is midsummer. Pony Express is feeling the heat too. They're only running one train today, so 
This line is already backed up to the old switchbacks at the bottom of the ramp here. So if you want to ride Pony Express today, uh, you're in for a wait. About 30 minutes or so right now. Don't forget, we've always got Whittles back here hanging out over by the Mystery Lodge on the other side of the River Rapids too. So photo ops abound, even out in the wildest wilderness. And just out of curiosity, I wanted to swing back around here by Camp Snoopy just to see if I was just a bit premature in my estimation of what the crowd says we're going to look like over here. And yeah, I was uh, wrong because now here we are two hours later and there's a lot of people. And I came back just to check on Ghost Rider just to see how it was operating today. Uh, both trains going, maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 minute wait in line. It's going all the way through the switchbacks in the bottom there. Uh, so a normal, a normal day. It's not running out of the barn and down along the pathway into the cave, which is always a good thing. So today's a good day to ride Ghost Rider. And I didn't even realize that uh, the Gold Rush trails open during the daytime. And it's because the, uh, the Trick or Treat trail extends all the way back here to the very back. So it is open on Spooky Farm days and they have all of the kiosks and stuff still. And I didn't even know that until just now. And while I'm back here in the daylight, I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, Knott's needs to extend Calico all the way out here beyond Ghost Rider. And they need something big right around here. They've already got everything all decorated. It looks like it's still an extension of the town anyway. And they have it open half the year. So why not just keep it open all year long and start to build towards something even bigger? Turn Ghost Town into a ghost metropolis. What the hell did you just say? shades of not summertime at times uh it's warm today still and there's quite a few people here because of the uh, high holiday still shouldn't deter you from coming out because i gotta be honest even the busiest days here are better than some alternatives so uh, montezuma is finally making its progress that's a good thing it's nice to finally see some sort of forward movement on that project. I hate when they take long periods off, but uh, it is what it is. So until we see you up on the mountain, out at the studios, or here at the farm, catch y'all on that flippity flop.